in this video i'm going to break down how i designed this 65th independence day flyer in photoshop and this is coming up hi everybody it's innocent here and welcome to the channel over here we do videos like this if that is something that sounds like you're interested kindly consider subscribing so over a week ago i recorded a video reacting to ghanaian graphic designers flyers on independence day and i added mine and i got a couple of requests to break it down so you requested for it and this is it first off let's take a critical look at this tutorial i went with a minimal style of design very simple using the ghanaian colors and then um, some of the symbolisms of ghana including the black star square the black star arc and a couple of adding cross symbols at the background and at the very bottom here i added these um, major buildings or major symbolisms of ghana at the bottom with a slight touch of like a vintage style over there and then yes basically i added test and that was it nothing like a big deal of a design so let's quickly look at how we design something like this first off we created this for social media so we're going to create a four by four inch design and click on create before i start a link to download all the resources that i'll be using will be in the description so you can download them and practice and probably send it over on instagram all right so let's get into business now we're going to add a gradient background to this so we go to the create new fill adjustment over here and we select gradient we go to the gradient panel and then we left click on it and then you can add the gradient that you want to add so i scroll over to the bottom here and i have my gradient this is the gradient that i use this is going to be the first color over here and the second color is plain white so we go ahead and we click ok when we are done now the next thing we do is we go to the style over here and we change that to radial for the angle it is going to remain 90 degrees and we are going to reverse this right over here after we now with that we go ahead and then we click ok now it is time to add the background element so we go to file and then place embedded right over here and we are going to choose this first seamless background or this adding cross sign of background over here and then we take our time to place it on top of the design now you can right click on this rasterize it and then we go to the blend mode over here and we are going to set this to soft light after that we're going to decrease the opacity to way lower something like four or five or even six percent something like this should be fine so we are going to add the next background to it so Control plus o to open that background up and it is going to be the independence or the black star square this one right over here we're going to first unlock it and then we're going to try to remove the background over here so you can go for something like the magic one tool here make a selection and then make a selection of all the blues in it and then we can delete it so we make a selection here and we delete it from here you can then choose the crop tool and then crop it over because we don't want all the flowers in it so up to this point will be and then we can take our time to get rid of all of these ones so we can go for the rectangular marquee tool over here to make sure that we make a selection here right there like that and then we are going to delete this we can make one more selection over here we just deleting the parts that we don't want and then we can make one more selection over here as well and then we can delete it now after we're done with that we can go back to the polygonal lasso tool here make a selection around this area so this goes on to tell you that it depends on the kind of cutting that you are doing at a point that will determine the tool that you are supposed to use okay because you realize that we are doing a lot of cutting over here but all of them it is different ones at the same time so we get rid of this one as well and we can do the same thing for this side now once we have this we can send it back to our documents that we are working on we can bring it over here and push it up small like that press ctrl t and try to straighten it up slightly like this and this should be fine from there we can go back to the blend mode and then we set this also to soft light and we try to decrease the opacity a little bit to around 60 65 there somewhere around that area should be fine and we can go ahead and add a layer max to this to smoothing the edges so we choose our brush tool and then we can smoothen the edges over here as well like that 
now once this has blended in let me try to rotate it slightly like that now we can then go back to the resources and bring the next image and that is going to be the image of the big six so we're going to place them right over here right on top of the black star square but we just have to make sure that they they are aligned to the black star square so right over here you can push it up a little slightly over there like that and then we go back to the blend mode set it to soft light also right click and then we rasterize the layer and then we are going to add a layer max to it to brush off the edges to blend in with the background so something like that should be fine the last thing we're going to add to the image will be inside of the resources this particular travel ghana destinations right over here we are going to place that at the very bottom over here and make sure that we are currently having only the important parts that we want that is this iconic symbols for ghana over here and then we can right click on it and rasterize it press ctrl shift and then u to desaturate it we go to the blend mode and then we are going to set this to difference right over there like that and then we can add a layer mask to it and then we are going to brush off all the parts that we don't want so all of this area we are just going to get rid of it like that slightly like that so this should be fine now at this point this is looking a bit darker so we can go to the create new fill adjustment and add a bit of curves to it so we can open it up like this something slightly like that and this should be fine for us and that said we can then move ahead and add our test and the other code to it so one of the most frequently questions that i got was how i did the six in the 65th with the ghana flag and actually it wasn't done by me it was something that i downloaded already so when you go into the resources you find this wavy ghanaian wavy flag background over here we are going to open that in a separate document and this is the actual thing that was done by vector stock so i didn't actually create it so we are going to crop this out like that and we can choose the magic one selection to make a selection and then we hold shift and make some more selections including all the edges and even inside here and then we can select all of these ones including this area and then once we have it we can then unlock this background and delete the background the white backgrounds that we don't want so you can even delete this part as well so you can delete all of that and then we can set it into the document or our project so we bring it right over here and you see it has already been taken care of so this looks pretty much like a six so i just decided to incorporate that idea of adding the 60 feet to it to make it look nice so once i bring it in i can take my time to position it right over here and then you can drag it over here something quite simple like that and then you can go for the test tool left click and we can type faith over here so the font that we're going to use is called trajan pro i'll leave links in the description if you want to download that so we're going to select that go here and then we are going to select the bold one and then we can increase the size over here to make it a bit bigger like that so it currently shows faith over here so open it up some more and then we can select the test here and change the color to something way green like this but we want quite dark green so we can come to this point around this area should be fine and then we can click ok and then ok from here so basically this should read 65th and then independence day will come at the very bottom over here so let me select this two and push it up slightly like that from there i can go back and select my feet press ctrl j to make a duplicate and drag it right underneath over here and i'm going to edit this to independence day so this is currently what we have we press ctrl t to transform it to make it slightly smaller like this and we can push it to the right side over here so let's try to close it up a little bit like that and we can bring it over here so at the left side what we actually added was a very simple rectangle so we can go for the rectangle tool over here so we are going to create some simple rectangles over here so the first one is going to be here like that and we can change the color of the rectangle so you double click on the layer thumbnail over here and then you can choose this particular color the same color that we are using for the feet and we click ok 
and we try our possible best to position it to align with the independence over here so something like that now we can zoom in over here press ctrl j to make a duplicate and drag it right underneath over there take your time to position it and then we make one more duplicate and drag it right over here so we can select all of the rectangles press ctrl t and try to transform it to align with the independence and this is what we are having so we can group all of these rectangles and underneath of this independence day we are going to add a powerful quote from professor john evans atamios so let's go right over here into the notepad that i've created and this is the code so we're going to copy that send it into photoshop choose the test tool and we are going to paste it right over here but for this code we are going to use poppins so poppins right over here and we are using the poppins medium press ctrl t to transform it a bit make it a bit bigger like that and then you can press ctrl a to center it right over here and try to even bring it up down a little bit like that if this feels like it is too small you can still open it up some more like this and you make sure that it is always centered another thing that i did was adding my social media handle to it so for that it was quite simple you choose the rectangle tool and then you make a small rectangle or a very slight rectangle over here like that you're going to double click on the layer thumbnail and then we are going to choose a color that is quite fading into the white or the background and then you can take your time to position it over here if it feels like it is small you can still open it up like that and place it at the very right side of your design so somewhere around here should be fine now we go back to the quotes that we added make a duplicate of that we can send it on top here and then we are going to edit that to the instagram handle or your handle so basically say underscore innocent now once you have that you press ctrl t to transform it right click and then you can flip it counterclockwise or anti-clockwise 90 degrees and then you can take your time and position it right over here as well now it looks like the rectangle at the very right side is almost fading up so we can come down a little bit like this so that we can actually see it some something like that and yeah basically that was it i was trying to go the minimal way but i decided to add a slight of color to it a very slight touch of color to it so to do that on top of the curves over here we are going to first of all decrease it to make it darker like this so that we can see exactly what we want to do over here so on top of that we are going to add a new layer and then we are going to add some touch of brushing to it or a color to it so we are going to choose the brush tool b for the brush tool and then you make sure that your color or your size is a little bit bigger like this and then you right click and make sure that your hardness is also zero after that you're going to make just one stroke of brush so something like this should be fine go to the blending mode and then we are going to set that to overlay so this is the touch of color that we want to add we can as well press ctrl u to explore some different colors that we can actually make use of so for instance if you go this way this is how it actually looks like but we can as well go this way somewhere around here should be fine between 10 and 12 should be fine and you realize that it looks very small over here so i can make some more duplicates so ctrl j to make one more duplicate and another ctrl j to make one more duplicate to it and after that we can go back to the curves over here and we can open the curves a little bit like that so something like this should be fine if this looks like it is too small for you as well you can still add one more duplicate to it and this is how it is actually going to look like and yeah so basically that was how i created the 65th independence day flyer i hope your request have been answered and i hope you learned something or two from this video if this video was helpful a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated and let me know in the comment section if you want to see a breakdown of any of the flyers that i reacted to as well i'll try and link up with the designer and try if i could break it down for you guys also if you have any designs you want me to break it down you can send it to the gmail that i'm displaying right over here and then i'll see as much as possible if i could break it down for you guys thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye